world's craziest pencil sharpeners. Number 26, the anime sharpener. In this picture, an anime character has ample buns to sharpen your pencil. But be careful, because her buns might shorten your number two pencil. Yes, this is one of the nerdiest things I've ever seen, but I kind of like it and slightly feel funny. Hey, can you get one of these at Walmart? They come in packs. They have like different anime character girl ones, like different Japanese girl ones with the pencil sharpener. What do you think, Wang? Oh, I like it very much. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, yeah. What's up? I got, I've got like five of these. I got, I got five of them at home, ha! Huh? Number 25. Take that, kitty. Look out, kitty, it's coming right for you! Meow. Meow. Yes, that's a sharp pussy cat. Right there. Hey, I'm getting this for my Aunt Betty. She's a crazy old cat lady. She's got like 37 kittens. You know, some of them live like in the garage and in the house and it's just like, there's kitty litter everywhere. She's also a hoarder. Anyways, Aunt Betty, she's crazy. Crazy cat lady, we love her. Sometimes we see her, but I just worry if she dies, are the cats gonna eat her? Pinocchio is a real pencil sharpener. This is a picture of a sharpener that looks like Pinocchio when you're sharpening your pencil. Hey, that's weird. I thought the nose was supposed to get bigger. Quite right, old boy. This Pinocchio is eating some serious wood chips. You would almost say he's being kind of nosy. Hey, it looks like Pinocchio lost his head in this picture. Number 23. Carrot top. I'm pretty sure this picture shows you how to make baby carrots. Just kidding. It's the thing chefs do to make cool garnishes. This is the only thing I serve people at my five-star restaurant. Little waves of carrot and tiny little, little bitty baby pieces of rabbit. And sometimes the frog legs and the escargot is a nice garnish. Nothing like putting a succulent snail on top of the tiny piece of the carrot. Oh, I saw this in one of those fancy food magazines. Number 22. Overkill? This is a picture of a seriously souped up sharpener. That's what I'm talking about right there. 600 horsepower of good old fashioned American sharpening technology. America! Yeah, it's actually the German made the pencil sharpener. It's solar powered. It doesn't have the speed limit on the Autobahn. It's just getting better gas mileage. It'll probably run for like a couple thousand miles longer than the American version. You can tell because all the dials are in the metric and the speedometer is in kilometers. 21, frog and sweet. It looks like a taxidermist was in need of a pencil sharpener in this picture. I can't really tell if this picture's photoshopped or not. Seems highly suspect to me. I love the frog legs. Très bon little froggy. Number 20, a nose for perfection. This particular pencil sharpener is slightly nosy. The pencil in this photo says, smart women get to the point. Is that because they are nosy? Or is it because they always know what they are talking about instead of talking for hours and hours and hours in the circles? And I just want to watch the football game. Ew, my snaz is bigger than this little guy. I could shop in 10 pencils at once. Number 19. An apple a day keeps your pencil sharpened? With this apple shaped sharpener, it's too bad the shavings in the picture don't come out as real apple. The kids at my school always brought me real apples. This would have been a nice suggestion. I hate apples. I don't get the whole thing about that. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. My grandma Bessie never ate an apple and she lived to the ripe old age of 53. You think Johnny Appleseed came up with this idea? Number 18. A wee little gas lamp. This is a picture of a pencil sharpener. Made to look like an old fashioned gas lamp. Um, is it just me or does anyone else think that the, the wood chips and the fire are not mixed so well? Hey man, you just make your kindling for the fire afterwards. That's all I'm talking about. Number 17. The squirrel sharpener. This photo features pencils of rich mahogany and a little squirrel on top of a log. Hey, if I were this little guy stuck in a bubble, I'd go nuts. I think it would be more appropriate if it was a woodchuck. 
Yeah, I don't really get this sharpener. I think I'm stumped. Hey, get your sharpener fix. Number 16. Check out the little mini Starbucks cups in this picture. The little, little mini Starbucks little pencil sharpeners in this one. This would be perfect for me because I've always wanted caffeine and I wanted my pencils to be very, very, very sharp. Number 15, the alien sharpener. In this picture, the alien's mouth sharpens your pencil. We come in peace and would like to hold your pencils. Bang. No, 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 no. <laughs> this came from my country. Everything, everything you make come from China. Just a plastic little alien come from China. Number 14. The whole sharpener. This is a quaint, quaint little sharpener in this picture. In this picture, if you, you sharpen your pencil with a soul monster, it looks like you're stabbing her eye out. Oh, this is bad, she has a crazy eye. Hey man, it's just like my mom used to say. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye, right? Number 13, kicking it old school. I tell you what, this is a vintage toilet shaped sharpener right here. I hope I never see life-sized one of these, you know what I mean? I don't know what would be sharpening that big. Hey, I think it's nice to get things accomplished when you're thinking about taking a BM. Number 12, animal crackers. This picture features several animal-shaped sharpeners. That sounds bad. Does anyone else think these are creepy? Hey, <laughs> it's like a menagerie of pencil sharpeners. You know, almost like a circus. Anybody? Eh? Number 11, it tells you the time and it sharpens your pencil. This Big Ben souvenir reminds you of the time you went to England. It'll also sharpen your pencil. Mmm, nothing like a little newspaper full of fish and chips, a little salt and vinegar. Not the wood chips you get out of Big Ben here, though. Oh, what a marvelous clock tower. No, but mostly I sell these for like a dollar fifty to tourists. I'll get them for like 15 cents. But when I'm out and at the States, when I'm in the colonies, though, and I need to write home, I always have my trusty Big Ben pencil sharpener. Who am I kidding? I have an email. Please just buy one. They're $1.50. Number 10. Arr, matey. This little pirate will keep your pencil sharp, or he'll make you walk the plank. Oh, ho! This one's a scurvy little rubber hopper. Yeah, I bet he works at the IHOP. Yeah, I bet he's always trying to get that booty. Number 9. The sharpener? This foam sharpener is very colorful. Let the most deadly predator of the sea guard your sharpener so none of your office mates can steal it. My, what large teeth you have. Oh, he's so cute with his googly eyes and big sharp teeth. Number eight, the McDapner. This picture is of sharpeners shaped like fry boxes from fast food restaurants. Hey, they don't serve fries in games, Z. Yeah, it's really too bad that it doesn't shave anything off the waistline. Number seven, the Death Sharpener. The sharpener in this picture was made to look like the Death Star. Man, I was looking for my sharpener in all the ran places. If I had this sharpener, I would be worried about a bunch of teenagers trying to blow it up. Number six, Mr. Roboto. This picture shows a wind up robot that moves after you're done sharpening. Domo, Domo. Hey man, that's my favorite song. What, Domo, sing it with me. No one cares, come on, Domo. We are the robots. We have come to sharpen your pencils and take over the world. Number five, wooden portable speaker and pencil sharpener combination. This little guy can attach to your phone and sharpen your pencil that you never use now that your phone has a stylus. Yeah, it seems like Vido even has a sharpener anymore. Four, the wise old owl. The owls in this picture don't give a hoot as long as your pencil is sharp. Jolly jerry little gents, aren't they? Number three, wind up triceratops. These photos show how this wind up triceratops gets moving and cruising after you make sure everything is nice and pointy. Yeah, it's kind of like the trifecta of pencil sharpeners. Number two, sad panda sharpener. How's this picture really creepy, man? Just a weird looking panda. Hey man, you think the panda's got that hole in its neck for smoking? Number one, the weirdest sharpener award. Yes, this looks like something you'd find in Germany. Hey, the sharpener in this picture looks like a creepy old fortune teller machine that you would find in Atlantic City, in a dark alley. If I ever saw this in a dark alley, I would get the heck out of there. 
Oh, my Aunt Thelma had a pimple shop in, a, in her house just like this. I think she said it came from the old country. Which one of these pencil sharpeners surprised you the most? We'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching! Skittle Bob!